Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to sketch a sand dollar and I'm gonna show you how you can paint it. So let's get started. And you wanna look at your reference photo for the sketch. And it's gonna be a simple circle shape. So just kind of draw a circle. And the edges don't have to be super straight. You can see they're a little bit jagged uneven so if you have a shaky hand that's actually going to help you out for this one okay after you have a circle let's make a star shape in the center so you can make five little dots in the shape of a square and then just connect those together and then in between each dot you're going to have a petal type of shape And then think about your perspective. The ones that are closer to you are gonna be longer and larger. Then the ones in the back, they're gonna be kind of shorter. Okay, and then after you have that flower drawn, you can put in these oval shapes. And there's one right here in between the petals. And you can see there's one over here. And then you can see another one right here. Okay, so there's your sketch. And now let's put down a base layer. And I wanna use this larger size 11 filbert. And let's use some yellow. And just put a bright yellow kind of base color underneath. And that's just gonna give us some brightness to show through. And since we're using a toned paper, we actually don't have to do a full underpainting because that toned paper is gonna kinda do that for us. So now let's put in some of the darker values. And I mixed up this kind of muddy shade over here. I, it's like a mushroom gray. And I mixed that together with some white, some ultramarine and Van Dyke brown. And I'm gonna put that around where the shadows are of the sand dollar. And the shadows are on this side because our light source is coming from this direction. So you want the darker values over on this side. This is a really great project to paint for the summer to get you in a summer mode and just celebrate the beach and the ocean. Think about all of those beachy vibes while you're painting. And be careful to keep your ovals unpainted. So you wanna go around those kind of carefully and make sure that you don't paint over those. So just give a little extra attention and be careful not to paint over them. That's something that I do very easily, so I have to remind myself. Okay, and then there's another one right here, so we don't wanna forget that one. Okay, and use quite a bit of water at this point to get some nice um, smooth coverage. And then just paint around the other parts I'm kind of leaving those petal shapes of the sand dollar unpainted because I want those to kind of stand out a little bit more so you can kind of save those for later. And let's just go ahead and put in most of this mushroom color. Just be careful around the edges, get close to your sketch. <laughs> I already painted over that one. So, okay, and just carefully go around. It's just a nice base layer. Okay, and then we wanted it a little bit darker on this side because like I said, that's where the shadow is. So you can go back with maybe some more gray because you wanna give the illusion of a sphere shape the sand dollar isn't completely round, but it's like a dome shape. So you wanna create some shadow and some volume there. 
Okay, so I think that's a good start. And now let's move into a base color. So you can grab this. This is a, I think it was a mocha. Where is the paint? I don't have it on me, but this is a craft paint that's just like a beige color. And then that's a nice local shade, which is a little bit more of a specific color, which just means it's closer to the color that the actual sand dollar is. So go ahead and put that shade in. If you don't have that, if you don't have like a beige skin tone paint, you can mix it. Put some white and different browns, little yellow, a little bit of red to make it a little more pink. Sometimes it's nice to have colors already mixed for you because it just makes the process faster. Okay, and I have quite a bit of water on the brush, so it's kind of like a glaze at this point. I'm trying to be careful around the edges. Okay, and then you could take a little bit of white and mix that with the beige color and you can go over these kind of star shapes so that they're still there. You can see some of that yellow peeking underneath as well. Okay, and let's put a little bit, give a little bit of attention to this edge. Normally I would turn my page so that I could get over here a little bit easier. For the sake of the video, I'm not going to do that. But when you're painting, go ahead and turn your page as you need to get closer to your edges. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I want to get a little bit warmer yellow ochre shade with a little bit of titanium white and that's kind of a lighter brighter shade and let's bring back some of these shapes that we had here the flower type of shapes just kind of accentuate those a little bit and blend it out okay and then we need to bring back our darker darks and our lighter lights so let's take a little bit of white and just kind of mix it in on this side. It's going to give us pretty nice highlight. We still have some of that yellow ochre on the brush, so it's going to kind of blend together. And you might go along the edges, but you might leave some of those edges a little bit dark to give you some form. Okay, and then you can come back, rinse off your brush a little bit better than I did, and then grab some mushroom color. You might need a little bit more Van Dyke Brown here. And then let's bring back some of that darker color over here so that we don't lose our shape so that we can make it look realistic. And bring it in. Just think about where the shadow is going to go to make this look more three-dimensional. Okay, so I think that's looking good. And then at this point, if you want to experiment with color, if you want to add some fun and flashy colors to your sand dollar, go ahead and do that now. I'm going to take a little bit of this lavender shade and just put it in see what kind of value it has what is it kind of close to there's a lot of white in this and i want to just kind of dance it around the shell going it from center to the outside keeping that cylinder um sorry spherical shape and you can see how that just adds a little bit of fun and we have that yellow from the yellow ochre and the yellow and the purple, they're opposites on that color spectrum, so they kind of enhance each other and make each other sing. So that looks nice. 
And then let's take a little bit of white and just kind of highlight where the sun would be hitting the, the sand dollar. And just kind of bring out some highlight with some white paint. Okay, and I lost a little bit of that purple and yellow, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that back in because that was giving a nice effect. And then a little bit more yellow ochre. Actually, I have to rinse my brush a little bit better. Go in with some yellow ochre. These colors are really pretty together. If you wanted to do blue instead of purple, you could do that. It would look that would look nice as well. Okay, so then we want to let this dry a little bit before we go back and put in our details, our fun details. So let's put, let's go ahead and put, take a little bit of white and see if we can just bring those back a little bit more. This just define those petals that the sand dollar has and that nice star shape. Okay. So then at that point, we really have to let this dry before we come back and put those details in. So I'm gonna stop the video here, give it a chance to dry, and then we'll come back and put the details of the little, little hash marks that make up this flower shape of the sand dollar, okay? So what I have here is a needle tool. This is used for clay work, but you can use this for painting, for scratching things out. So to make these little marks that the sand dollar has, there's some scratching. So let's see what it looks like if we just scratch the paper here. And try to do it a little bit carefully. This paper is rather thin, so depending on the weight of your paper, you can be a little more aggressive or you may have to be a little carefuler, more careful. And then you can just kind of see we have a little bit where we have dark paint underneath and you scratch the top layer. It's going to give a nice effect to show up the darker lines underneath. Kind of seeing some of the yellow that we put down. But this is one way that you could really add a nice texture. And you can see in some parts it's, I don't know how it's showing up in the video, but some parts it's showing up a little bit more than others. Okay, so that's just one way that you could do it or approach it. And then another way you can do it is take a very fine detailed brush, very pointed brush, and just get a dark color. I want to use a Van Dyke, you could use a Van Dyke brown, and then let's put in those dots where the star is, the five points, and then kind of put your, see if you can connect to those five points into your star shape. And then, yeah, at this point you're just adding of adding detail. You can kind of paint over some of those little lines that you created from scratching with your detailed brush. And you can make it subtle and just put those in sparingly. The paint just is giving it kind of an extra layer of interest along with those scratches that you made. So it, it gives kind of a neat effect. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And then what you could do is take this other tool, which I use a lot, which is a clay tool. And you can do some spotting with this. So we can take that same Van Dyke Brown and then put in 
in some dots. Put those dots where the star is. And then you see there's kind of scratches and then there's like little tiny dot lines on the inside of those petals. So you can carefully put that in with this dotting tool. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to make it kind of random so that it does appear natural. And that will be, that should work. Okay. Okay, so then your sand dollar is complete. I like the way this turned out. This is a great project to experiment with different colors, like the purple that we added and the yellow ochre, those two complementary colors. So you could try with a blue and a yellow instead or put some pinks in there. So just play with it and have fun, experiment, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you give it a try this summer, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!